The most important relationship is the relationship we have with ourselves. Our inner thoughts, mind, and whatever we focus on reflects in our external reality. As within, so without. So I'm teaching you guys how to value yourself more. How to really go on this self-improvement just to further the relationship you have with yourself. Not to attract a higher mate. Not to attract a better mate. Not to attract that chick with the curvy cha-chas and the breasts and the nice face, the Instagram baddies. I'm teaching you how to do this for yourself and why you should do it for yourself. Because everything you really want materially, you can get. But you have to qualify for it. You can't be 350 pounds, 5'6", hoping for an Instagram baddie to DM you or hoping for an Instagram baddie to approach you even. Life doesn't work like, like, like that. You just, you could hope and pray all you want, but hope and pray isn't as efficient as working and action. On this semen retention I'm telling you guys about, you are disciplining yourself from releasing your life force. And in turn, this life force is giving you more life. Healthier skin, stronger hair, deeper voice, mental clarity, more energy. Stronger female attraction. But this is not just to attract female. This is attract this is just to become a better man. This is a tool. Adult films is a tool to keep you away from becoming the best man you could be. They're trying to work on your lower nature, your reptilian desires, horniness, sex, greed, money. But it takes you away from the soft skills we need in society. Listening skills, great communication skills, leadership. This is all in, in a way to become a God, a God that walks this earth. We have to start becoming our own idols. And in order to become your own idol, you have to start worshiping yourself in a way. And when I say worship yourself, I mean, be more conscious of the fools we put in our mouth. Be more conscious of the videos we watch, the music we listen to. And just even our nighttime routine. Because, you know, most people, most humans live out their mind through their subconscious mind. And through our subconscious mind, we don't realize the behaviors and thought patterns we have. It can be detrimental for us or it can be beneficial for us. And when we go on a dopamine fast, we eat and clean, we go on a semen retention. Not many of us are used to this way of not being so stimulated. We're constantly looking for music to play. We're constantly looking for a movie to watch. We're constantly looking for the new drama, some entertainment we can laugh at. When was the last time you've been still with yourself and your thoughts? Because we're living in a movie and you're one of the best actors. Are you playing your role? Are you playing the role you were sent here to act out? Or are you just being another pawn, someone else's pawn, someone else's stepping stone for them to get riches? See, we're bending back. We're bending forward all over for other billionaires so they could get richer. But the people on the ground level like you and I we're working for peanuts, which nobody owes us anything, but many of us don't even think about going further, developing a business for ourselves where we could feed our own faces. We don't have another mouth, another hand stuffing food in our mouths. So the most important relationship is the relationship you have with yourself. Once you have a strong relationship with yourself, it becomes more easier to network with others. You, get, you develop a strong sense of confidence. So you, by being on this personal development, self-development, you erase that anxiety. You're not watching adult films, so 
You don't feel like you're thirsting <laughs> for women. All of these symptoms we're going through, it's all a matter of being conditioned by your environment. And I don't care where you're at. If you're in the UK, you're in the US, Caribbean, this is a hidden hand going on throughout every aspect of society, every region of the planet where money is being the focus. And if money isn't the focus, intercourse is, partying is. You can't show me where any part of the world that developing yourself and doing good for the community is the norm. Yeah, there may be more, they be more, there may be little pockets of society around the world, but that's not the cultural norm. That's not the dominant culture. The dominant culture is lacking off. And for us who have a higher calling in life, who knows we were sent here to do things bigger than life, we choose to follow the crowd out of being insecure, out of being called the black sheep, out of having rock stone at us. But we have to proceed forward if we want to shift the paradigm. We have to proceed forward if we want to change the narrative of modern society. We have to start moving like how we want the world to move. Be the change you wish to see and watch how others change around you. It's infectious. You have to start being more infectious with your energy, preferably good energy, but What's more superior than good energy is authentic energy. We get so much, we talk so much about the good and the bad, but all of it, it's you. It is what it is. So if you have these negative thoughts, if you have trouble being disciplined, you have to look from within and study your habits. I read the book, The Power of Habit by Charles Duhigg, and it goes in about Q routine reward, how people live through their habits. Humans are creatures of habits. There's a cue that makes you go into your habit. And once you get that cue, doing the habit is the routine. And once you do that habit, once you do that routine, there's a reward for it. And you could take this from anyway, from eating junk foods, from smoking, from drinking, from fapping. There's a cue routine and reward. And it's up to us to study our cues, our routines, and our rewards and analyze them and ask yourself, does this put me in a better position? Is this beneficial for me? How does this impact my mind, my body, and my soul? And do I see myself doing this five years from now, 10 years from now? Most likely, if you're saying no, then it's a habit you need to stop. And once we kill these bad habits, once we get rid of these bad hobbies, you start to love yourself more. You start to see the world with a greater purpose, with eyes you never seen because your mind is changing. Your mind is slowly changing. Your brain waves are changing. You're getting more gray matter and you start getting these downloads from the universe to help you create and produce for society for the greater good. So study the relationship you have with yourself and then watch how the relationship with others begin to flourish as well. So this has been More Studios. If you enjoyed this video, like, share, comment, subscribe. And until next time, you guys be well.